Hello everyone and welcome back to J1 Aviation. Today we're talking about the pitot-static system. So the pitot-static system is a combined system which uses the impact pressure of the motion of the aircraft through the air and the static outside air pressure. So these two are used for the operation of the airspeed indicator, altimeter, and VSI. Let's look briefly at a diagram. So this is straight out of the pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge. The pitot tube points forward, and as the speed increases on takeoff, ram air pressure increases, while the static air remains the same. This is reflected on the airspeed indicator as increasing speed. So why is the static air needed? Well, remember, as you climb, the air becomes less dense. So if there wasn't a calibration for lower air pressure at altitude, the airspeed indicator could read lower as you climbed due to less impact air. You can see the altimeter and the VSI do not use ram air, only static air. So as the aircraft climbs, the decreasing static air pressure registers on the VSI and altimeter as a climb. Now these instruments can become an operative if parts of the system become blocked. If the static port becomes blocked, you can see that all three would be rendered inoperative. However, if the pitot tube becomes blocked, only the airspeed indicator would be inoperative. If you pick up ice in flight, that would be a case how the pitot tube could become blocked. So with that introduction in mind, let's look at some potential private pilot questions. So question number one, the pitot system provides impact pressure for which instrument? Altimeter, vertical speed indicator, or airspeed indicator? So the answer is C, airspeed indicator. The pitot system provides ram air pressure for the airspeed indicator alone. Both the altimeter and the VSI operate off of the static system. Question number two. If the pitot tube and outside static vents become clogged, which instruments would be affected? A, the altimeter, airspeed indicator, and turn and slip indicator. B, the altimeter, airspeed indicator, and vertical speed indicator. Or C, the altimeter, attitude indicator, and turn and slip coordinator. So the answer is B, the altimeter, airspeed indicator, and vertical speed indicator. So the pitot-static system affects the altimeter, airspeed indicator, and vertical speed indicator. The other answers include either the turn and slip coordinator or the attitude indicator, and both of these are gyroscopic instruments. Okay, question three, and this is the last question for today. Which instruments will become an operative if the static vents become clogged? A. Airspeed indicator only. B. Altimeter only. Or C. Airspeed indicator, altimeter, and vertical speed indicator. Okay, so the answer is C. Airspeed indicator, altimeter, and vertical speed indicator. Right, so again, remember, the static vents affect all three instruments. The airspeed indicator, the altimeter, and the vertical speed indicator. So thanks everyone for riding along today. We'll hope you join us on a future flight, and thanks for flying J1 Aviation.